Marigold, Calendula, Cream How to Make Homemade Cream Recipe. I can provide you with a general recipe for making a marigold cream that uses marigold-infused oil. Marigold, also known as calendula, is believed to have skin-soothing properties and is commonly used in skincare products. Ingredients 1 cup of carrier oil, such as olive oil, sweet almond oil, or jojoba oil. 1 quarter cup dried marigold petals, calendula flowers. 1 tablespoon of beeswax pellets or grated beeswax, for thickening the cream. Optional. A few drops of essential oil for fragrance, e.g., lavender or chamomile. Instructions. Start by infusing the marigold petals into the carrier oil. Place the dried marigold petals in a clean, dry glass jar. Heat the carrier oil in a saucepan until it's warm, not boiling. Pour the warm oil over the marigold petals in the jar until they are fully submerged. Stir gently to release any air bubbles. Close the jar tightly and let it sit for about 2-4 weeks in a cool, dark place, shaking it gently every few days. After the oil has infused for the desired period, strain the oil through a fine mesh strainer or cheesecloth to remove the marigold petals. You should now have marigold-infused oil, which is the base for your cream. In a double boiler or a heat-resistant bowl placed over a pot of simmering water, melt the beeswax pellets. Once the beeswax has melted, add the marigold-infused oil to the beeswax and stir well to combine. If you want to add essential oil for fragrance, do so at this stage. Remove the mixture from the heat and let it cool slightly, but not enough for it to solidify. Pour the warm mixture into clean, sterilized jars or containers. Allow the cream to cool and solidify completely before closing the jars. Your marigold cream is now ready to use. Store it in a cool, dry place, and use it as a moisturizer or skin-soothing cream. Keep in mind that homemade products don't have preservatives, so it's essential to check for any signs of spoilage and discard the cream if it smells off or shows signs of mold or contamination. As always, it's a good idea to perform a patch test on a small area of your skin to check for any allergic reactions before using the cream more widely. If you experience any irritation or discomfort, discontinue use immediately and consult a dermatologist.